They are vast expanses of serene, crystal clear waters, as far as the eye can see. It is an absolutely unique place. It's usually less than six feet of water. That is a matrix of sand, seagrass, little corals and sponges that offers good foraging grounds for many different species. The fish are just going about their business. You just see them in their own element, eating and cruising, and it's really neat to see. These are the flats, a place where recreational anglers pursue the legendary bonefish, tarpon, and permit. There's no other place I'd rather be fly fishing than on the flats. Flats fishing is just a very romanticized, dramatic thing. It's just the allure and pulling around these flats and trying to find a fish. Oh, come on, what is that? Is that, is that fish? Flats fishing is not like drop a piece of shrimp to the bottom and wait for the fish to eat it. Flats fishing is a hunt. It's very much a stalking game. It's like hunting, except you get to release the fish when you catch it. You actually have to see the fish before you throw the fly. You're trying to trick a fish into eating a completely artificial fly that you've often tied yourself just out of materials. This is pretty challenging, especially when weather conditions aren't in your favor. You're not thinking about anything else when you're out on the flats. Research commissioned by the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust has shown these recreational fisheries are worth big money. A study in 2009, the middle of the recession, found that the annual economic impact of the bonefish catch and release fishery in the Bahamas was $141 million. We are in the process of redoing that study now, and preliminary estimates are that it's more than $200 million. In the Florida Keys, the flats fishery, which is bonefish, tarpon, and permit, the annual economic impact is over $460 million. But in some areas, these fish are on the decline. Come on. In order for us to pass this down, we have to secure what we have now. And in order to do that, you got to work with the researchers. What does scientific research reveal about bonefish, tarpon, and permit? Can it help to ensure their survival into the future?